Alright everyone, welcome back. This is our last lesson in this unit on polygons and geometry. So let's just get started here, just kind of a little bit of review, warm-ups. Um, a centimeter cube has a length, width, and height of one centimeter. What is its volume? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start talking about a rectangular prism, and that that it's one that's 10 centimeters long, five centimeters wide, and six centimeters high. And this is this picture is not that object yet, but um, we're just gonna slowly build it here. So the first thing is we have a length of 10 centimeters, and I have these 10 cubes here put together, and we could say that one row of those cubes is 10 centimeters cubed. And if we count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there is indeed 10 cubes there. So we could say, well, it's got 10 cubes, and we use the this, this small three. So squared was a two, and now we're moving to cubed, which is three. And when we say cubed, we're actually talking about three directions, okay? And when we talk about square, we're actually talking about two directions. That's why we use those numbers. Now, still building that, that prism here, we have the bottom layer and we have a width of five centimeters. So I have five rows of those 10 cubes I had in the previous picture and they make a one layer of 50 cubes. And if you don't believe me, I have one, two, three, four. Uh, there's another one in there. Maybe it's easier to count the blue. One, two, three, four, five. And we had though one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, five times 10 is 50. So there is indeed 50 cubes there. And that one layer we would say is 50 centimeters cubed. Okay, there's the final prism there. And we have a height of six centimeters. And we have six layers of those 50 cubes we had before to make a volume of 300 cubes altogether. And so we've already talked about that direction, we've already talked about this direction, now we need to go up, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those layers, and if we do the six times the 50 we had before, six times 50 is 300, so three, that's a volume of 300 um, centimeters cubed. So we can use these descriptions that we had before to develop a formula for the volume of a rectangular prism. So in order to get volume in cubic centimeters or any, well, I guess using the cubes though, we have the number of one centimeter cubes in each layer and we're gonna multiply that by the number of layers. And so we had those those 50 cubes as one layer. We had six layers all together. That's what we were doing. Um, so just to, just to clarify this, um, the number of one centimeter cubes in each layer is the base. And that's kind of the area. We talked about area last time and now it's making a three-dimensional object and the number of layers is the height of the prism so in other words volume could be the base area times its height or another better way to think of it as is volume equals length times width time height and just to make this clear we learned that length times height is area so all we're doing is adding another uh, multiplication part to it and that's timesing by the height and the best formula to use is volume V for volume equals the L which we've talked about in the last two lessons so if you don't know that what that L is go back and watch those videos times width times height so we can use that formula volume equals length times width times height to find the volume of this rectangular prism which is 11 centimeters long, 4 centimeters wide, and 5 centimeters high. So we always, good practice is always write the formula. Okay, and then we substitute. Volume equals the length is 11. We're going to multiply it by the width which is 4. We're going to multiply it by the height which is 5. Now, if we go back to our bed miss, um, we normally do multiplication steps left to right. Um, it doesn't really matter in this situation, but just in case, we are gonna move this way. So showing our work, 11 times four is 44, and we're gonna multiply that by five. Now, um, well, sorry, so this is a four times a five, that's a 20, and this is a 40 times a five, 
which is 200. So really, our volume is 220 centimeters is our unit, and we're cubing it. So that's really it. So I'm going to get you to try this one. But this time, I've twisted it a little bit. A rectangular prism has a volume of 90 centimeters cubed. And I'm sorry, I just noticed that this should be an exponent, but um, it's not. The prism has a length of 9 centimeters and a width of 5 centimeters. What is its height and how did you figure that out? So take a, take a couple minutes, try and figure out what is the height of this rectangular prism. Okay, so remember volume equals length times width times height. Let's figure out what we do know. We do know the volume, it's 90. So 90 equals, and we have the width, or sorry, the length is nine, times the width, which is five, times the height. So we don't know the height. Well, let's keep going. 90 equals, we know nine times five is 45, times something is the height. Well, let's think backwards here. 90 divided by 45 is our height. Well, what times 45 is 90? Well, two. So our height equals two centimeters. Not two centimeters cubed. We're not trying to find the volume there, but two centimeters. So this is our height. Well, there you have it. Um, the volume of a rectangular prism, we're just adding on to our area that we learned last time, but we're going in another direction. So please remember, in life, math happens. Take care, guys. Thank you.